Project 1065, Chapter 18, An Angry Badger. I let the hedgerow branches snap back shut and muttered a short, harsh German word I wasn't supposed to know or say. The British pilot wasn't heading for the hills. He was right here, and I'd led the Nazis right to him. The quick glimpse I'd gotten of him told me he wasn't doing too well either. He was curled up in a ball as if he was hurt, and he hadn't looked up at me. Just stay quiet and still, I told him. I'm not German. I'm Irish. I'm here to help you. Then I realized I said all that in German, which probably hadn't helped. The searchers from the Hitler Youth were getting closer, beating at the hedgerow with rakes and poking into it with sticks. I switched to English and told him the same thing. My name's Michael O'Shaughnessy, I added. Well, came a weak but distinctly English voice from below me. You can't get much more Irish than that. Are you hurt? I asked him. Not at all, he said, even as he was gritting his teeth in agony. Unless you mean this bloody gash on my arm or a sprained ankle. A sprained ankle. No wonder he hadn't made it far. An SS officer joined the vanguard of Hitler Youth beating at the bushes. He'd be on the pilot in moments. I had to think of something. Do something. Do you trust me? I asked the airman, pretending to search the hedgerow. Trust an Irishman? The pilot said. I'd sooner trust a fox in a hen house. And I'd sooner carry an angry badger across the river Liffey than help an Englishman, I told him. Now I know you're Irish. I'm entirely in your hands. That was a scary thought. I waved Fritz over, hoping he wouldn't see the blue of the pilot's uniform through the brown leaves as I had. Come on, I told him, hurrying back the way we'd come. I think the pilot may have doubled back on us. But the trail goes this way, Fritz said. Misdirection, I told him. And suddenly, I realized that's exactly what the drops of blood had been. The pilot had limped as far as the barn, making it look like he was heading for the hills, then doubled back and hidden in the hedgerow. Why would he stay here at the farm? He has had more than an hour to run. He had to head for the hills, I told Fritz. Let's look for the tracks here. I led him right to where I'd found the blood, hoping he'd see it. I didn't want to be the one to cry wolf twice, but of course I'd swept dirt over the blood spots I'd seen trying to hide them. Idiot. While Fritz was searching the ground, I snapped a twig off the hedgerow and dragged it across my palm, breaking the skin and bringing blood to the surface. It stung, but that didn't matter. I didn't have long before the searchers found the pilot. I stepped ahead of Fritz and bent down as though searching, squeezing a drop of blood from my clenched fist onto the cold, dry earth. I moved away, squeezing another and another. Come on, Fritz, I thought. See the blood? See the blood? I watched the SS officer get closer to the place where the airman was hiding. Closer? Closer? I was going to have to say something myself. Look! Blood! Fritz cried. Hey, hey, I found blood! He called to the searchers. A trail of it! <clears throat> the Hitler youth boys abandoned their search of the hedgerow and came running. The SS officer stopped right beside where the British pilot was hiding, turned, and then walked back toward us. I heaved a huge sigh of relief. I'd saved the airman, but only for the moment. There's more blood here, a boy cried, finding some in the grass beyond the barn. Blood I hadn't shed. The pilot must have left a longer trail than, I'd even, than even I'd seen. He's headed for the mountains, the SS officer said, as though he'd always known. He blew his whistle, calling the searchers in the field across the road to join us. Fan out, he told us. Form a line. Work your way into the foothills. Find him. Fritz joined the growing line of boys and bounded off with them up the hill. I stayed behind, slipping back into the barn, while all the other boys from the field joined in the search. I felt bad to lie to Fritz, to not tell him the truth about the airmen, but I didn't know how much I could trust him yet. I remembered him saying he wanted to join the SRD. The glee he'd shown, sticking the pitchfork into the hay in the barn. Was that just excitement of the chase, or did he really believe all the Nazi claptrap about the master race? I still had to get the British pilot out of the hedgerow to somewhere safer. But where? I watched the searchers through the gaps in the barn wall until they were over the hill. The hay made me sneeze again, and then I had it. I knew where to hide the airmen.